Hey guys, Christo Garcia, My Swing Evolution. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, Happy Holiday Season, and of course a Happy New Year. So this is really pretty amazing because I started My Swing Evolution in January 2011. So next month will be the beginning of the 10th year of My Swing Evolution. It helped me to overcome the biggest problem I had in golf was that I didn't trust that I could play the game. And uh, I had such a difficult time for a long, long time. And, uh, you know, it's pretty amazing what's happened. I'd like to thank everybody for being on this journey. And uh, I think it's just going to get better and better from here. I think my, I mean, the very best golf is right in front of me and I cannot wait for 2020. It's pretty remarkable. Now, I do want to tell everybody today's video is about the deep takeaway. Now, this is a video that I actually worked on, I think it was 2012. Yeah, when I was observing these older fellows golf swings, they tended to take the club back to the inside. Now, I was focused on the hand path, where the hands were. But now, again, this is a uh, largely due to my buddy Billy pointing out something in my swing, you know, last year, last summer, I was doing the upper left arm connection, then I got away from it. And then Billy's like, dude, you got to stay on that. And then now as I'm working into this video about the deep takeaway, it's, I'm, you know, gosh, I just continue to learn, you know, it's like, I don't think you ever stop learning. And I don't think you want to ever stop learning. Because that's the beauty of something that's really, really good for you is that the complexity, it just, you know, you have a greater understanding the longer you go with it. So I'm going to be talking about the deep takeaway. Now, I also want to mention to people that uh, the meditation video has gone out uh, this week. And I got this beautiful message. I want to read it real quick. Christo, I've waited two weeks for your meditation lesson and it was worth the wait. I think I've purchased six of your products, and I believe that this is the best. Excellent job, and I'll await the others. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate it so much. It's, it's kind of crazy, but it all starts in the mind. The mind moves the muscles and not the other way around. So I hope you enjoy this video on the deep takeaway, and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. So it's really kind of fun to go back eight years to look at this deep takeaway video because I think I was on the right path. Now what I'd like to do is point out the upper lead arm of these golfers that are old school, okay? Before I was more concerned with where the hands were, but the hands are an extension of the upper arms and this upper arm connection is so important, I believe, in the backswing. So here we see Bobby Jones. So let's watch him take it up and back. And then this is Ben Hogan. You know, we can see that he's got that upper left arm connection. Next we see Sam Sneed, still the same type of connection. Uh, as Billy says, the inside up and under takeaway. And next we have Matt Kuchar. You know, a lot of people were so shocked when Cooch started to swing in that much flatter swing plane, but I think he's like fifth all time on the money list. Obviously, wherever he is, he's had a phenomenal career and he's a darn fine golfer. And also, you know, he's tall. He's, he's like 6'4", whereas Ben Hogan was about my size. So it works no matter how tall you are. Now, the thing that was important when I was moving away eight years ago or so from the modern golf swing, let's take a look at where some of the modern golfers are at or were at during that time. So here we can see Adam Scott. This is what ruined me. My last golf lesson with a PGA professional before I went old school and got Ben Hogan's five lessons was he said, imagine you're standing on a set of train tracks and you're going to take the head of the club as far away down the train tracks as possible behind the golf ball. This totally disconnected my upper arms and I lost all control over the club face doing this. And then the next picture that I have uh, from the deep takeaway is from um, Nick Watney. 
boy, it'd been a minute. <laughs> I'd forgotten about it. But you can see that his upper left arm is completely disconnected. So this is not the deep takeaway. You can see at the same point in the backswing that the hands are way out in front of the body. Okay. Now, this is uh, what Billy sent me, and he's actually made several videos about this. So if you want to check out Ben Hogan's letter lessons, Billy Martin has a dynamite channel. And this is uh, these Tiger Woods swings that he had sent to me that I thought were uh, pretty important. So this was at the Memorial Tournament this year. Now, this is just a pitch. And one of the things that all my students know is I believe very strongly that the mechanics from a pitch and wedge shot go all the way up through the driver. But notice how tight that upper arm is to the chest. Inside, up, and under. Very similar to these great golfers from the past that I was just showing you. You know, so we have, uh, you know, it looks a lot like Sam Snead actually to me. So now we're moving up a little bit, a little fuller swing. And what do we see here? Upper lead arm connection. And then from this point, he'll lift the club up, turn the shoulders. And then from there, it's all good. Now this is a probably an eight iron, I think. And we're going to see it from a slightly different up close. Upper arm connection. As these swings get longer, the rear arm will separate more. So I've had, like, if you try and do the towel under the arms, you know, you can only, for me, I can only swing like three quarters, maybe half or maybe three quarters. But the fuller the swing gets, the harder it is to, to keep that connection. But here, the upper rear arm connects on the down swing. So that's the, that's the funky thing about, about these uh, moves is, you know, you want to feel that connection with the upper arms against the chest. But there's times when it goes either way. So here I am, I'm, I'm kind of demonstrating what I want to feel with my upper arm you know, as I'm working on taking the club back. And this is essentially the, the area I want to get to here, that upper arm connection. From here, what I'm working on doing is maintaining that connection. So my hands are essentially in the same place in relation to my torso, which gives my hands the appearance of the deep takeaway. Now, from this point, the arms simply rise in the golf swing. So that's what uh, Ben Hogan said, is that the club actually just rises in front of you in the golf swing. So once we get to this point, we simply lift the club and hinge our right elbow. And it puts me in a really good position. And with a full backswing, we can see that my, my rear elbow disconnects from my body. So once again, I want to feel like my torso, hands, and club are moving together as one unit, and then they rise. Once I get to about 8 o'clock is when I begin to hinge my rear arm. Now on the downswing, you'll notice that my left arm goes out away from my chest. If you look, I've pointed out many times with Ben Hogan at this point, you know, that it looks like, you know, the club is going out and around the body at this point, you know, as we put the club in orbit. So these are the essential ideas of what I'm trying to work on here is inside, up and under, and then the butt of the club goes out towards the ball. So that's it. That's the deep takeaway as it exists, you know, today in, uh, in my golf swing. And so let's take a look at some of my golf swings.
not bad, I'll take it. I used to have a pretty ugly golf swing, and now I've got a really good golf swing. I got rid of my slice, picked up 50 yards, cut 10 strokes off my game, and I've even been on the Golf Channel. If you want to find out how, go to MySwingEvolution.com.